Hey Bing's right there. Come on guys, let us go and check out some stuff about the Anigma Chana Golem. Welcome to the Bing's Around Us channel, and this is me Yeshwant Rajasekharan right over here. Mohammed Ajir, a fish hobbyist from Uruk, a village known for its agriculture fields and spice trade in Kerala's Malapuram district, had met two individuals who said to him that they saw a bizarre looking fish in his paddy fields after the devastating floods that hit Kerala in August 2018. Then he took the pictures of the bizarre looking fish and posted it in online groups. Rajiv Raghavan a fish researcher at Kerala University of Fisheries and Ocean Studies saw a post on social media of Mr. Mohammed Ajir about the bizarre fish and tried to identify what kind of a creature was it, but he was unable to do so. So he just mailed the picture to Dr. Ralph Bridge, who is an ichthyologist from the Department of Zoology of the Natural History Museum, which is in London, United Kingdom. And even Bridge couldn't identify it either. Bridge also mentions that he had got an image that was not so good of the same bizarre creature from another person from Kerala in 2017 and that person had found that creature in a well in his backyard. And so he knew that there was a strange fish hiding in the aquifers of Kerala. With a curiosity to find what that bizarre looking creature was, Bridge travels to Kerala which is in India. Then these researchers contacted Mr. Mohammed Ajir to ask him where did he find that creature. Then Mr. Muhammad Ajir replied that he found that creature in his paddy fields. But by this time, some amount of water in Muhammad Ajir's paddy fields had receded. But still, the researchers thought that there might be a possibility of the bizarre fish swimming around in the same area. But even after searching for it, for a long period of time, they couldn't find it. But eventually, they found it on one late night, near to the surface of the water, and then they captured it. After doing some research, they were surprised to know that this variety of fish is existing since 100 million years ago, and they have not yet evolved. So the scientists call these fishes as living fossils. These fishes belong to the family of dragon snake heads. The dragon snake heads live in the subterranean aquifers, that is, in the water that flows under the ground. And they come to the surface only after heavy flooding occurs due to heavy rainfall. This is the key reason because of which they were not discovered by the scientists and this is the reason because of which their behavior and characteristics have not evolved over millions of years. Their swim bladder is reduced or even might be absent, unlike the other snake heads. Whereas all the other snake heads have well developed swim bladders and therefore the dragon snake heads won't be able to maintain buoyancy easily in the open waters. So the dragon snake heads and the other snake heads are two different species. They have fewer vertebrates with the ribs. This family of fish has eyes unlike the other subterranean fishes. They also have a reddish brown pigmentation or color while the other subterranean fishes are pale. They are predatory fishes, having long dorsal fins, large mouths and shiny teeth. They do have a lot of scales on their body. They do not have suprabranchial organs, unlike the other snakeheads, so they won't be able to breathe air directly. They are 9.2 cm long and they swim like an eel. These fishes exist in the world from the time of Gondwana supercontinent. As these fishes live in the water that flows underground, so it is named after Gollum. Gollum is a character that lives under the ground in the fantasy novel Lord of the Rings, which was written by J.R.R. Tolkien. Therefore, the name of these dragon snake heads are given as Anigmachana Gollum. The golem snake heads were first identified as a new species and genus in May 2019 in a study published in Zoo Taxa. The discovery of these golem snake heads is leading the researchers to believe that there must be a hidden ecosystem existing below the surface. Let's appreciate the efforts of all those who have worked hard to find this new species. Let's remember to protect our ecosystem and even the subterranean ecosystem that our Mother Earth has preserved and protected till now.
put out some comments in the comment section so that I'll be able to correct my mistakes and serve you in a better way. If you would like to know more about the beings living around us, then please do subscribe to the beings around us channel by clicking the red button down below and please do press the bell icon so that you will get immediate notification whenever I put a video on the YouTube platform. I hope you like this video and if you do so, please do like, share and do comment. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Let's meet up next time.